Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, we're turning on my Acer E machine, the E720, and it's a machine that runs Windows 7, it runs Windows 8, it runs Mac OS Lion, and now it's showing you Windows 9 Alpha 2, a concept that I'm creating at this moment just because I'm bored, and I think because it's fun to do uh, some uh, forward thinking you know as you can see channel 48 2015 built on the winning Windows 8 platform that's not completely true but um, in this case we must also use our imagination and uh, this is the year 2015 and um, you know a lot of people nerds etc complained a bit about windows 8 that they uh, you know liked uh, the windows 7 more so microsoft also thought about that and in the version windows 9 this is uh, still a developers edition of course but this will be the nerd edition the edition for nerds um, it will also show you that um, that there is no uh, such thing as metro screen uh, we could uh, easily put in a metro screen but um, in this version the version for nerds there is no metro screen and um, yeah it's really light as well uh, many drivers are also supported many machines can run this and um, many old apps uh, still run wonderful such as in Windows 8 as well uh, Windows 8 is running apps that Windows 7 could not run anymore because they were too old but Windows 8 was running them without a problem and that's the same with Windows 9 um, the total uh, installation of this Windows 9 is only uh, 1200 megabyte so that's really small um, it's a uh, it's uh, how you call it uh, a computer operating system and it has two start menus instead of uh, a metro screen you got a second start menu and the one is for the normal uh, things that you used to do also known from Windows 95 until Windows um, 7 in 8 the taskbar was gone but in 9 the taskbar is back the normal one but also extra start bar and you can see this as uh, the answer on the metro screen uh, the second start menu doesn't only have uh, all the programs that are installed on the computer but it also has its own app store so you can um, you can it will show you the modular programs such as Facebook YouTube etc and you can then download them just hit install and they will be installed in in two three seconds they are of course free you don't have to pay anything and um, yeah they have their own app store um, also really cool is uh, of the favorites is that uh, the more programs you add the more pages you will get we go to page one and up here you can see that I have all the programs that I uh, favorite into this uh, screen and that will let me touch them really easily with a tablet so this is for tablet users but also for the desktop users because the desktop users will get their programs from here you know um, yeah it's in fact uh, made by Pocky by Pocky we must not forget to call the name this is the start menu by Pocky and it's specially made for the Windows 8 users so all you guys with Windows 8 you can use this uh, screen and then you will also have an extra app store um, not the Windows App Store of course but uh, an App Store that will give you some programs we can take a look at the App Store and uh, we're opening the App Store now as you can see um, this is all happening on a dual core laptop with uh, 3 gigabytes uh, internal memory so you know if you could if you do this on a machine with 256 megabyte RAM running uh, whatever you know Windows XP or so then it should probably should work but don't try this on the Windows 7 you know I mean like then you need some more memory I know that Windows 7 won't even let you run on the f on the 
under the 512 megabyte RAM you should have at least 512 and that's also the case for Windows 9 um, but uh, we're running the system on 3 gigabytes there are uh, very nice uh, apps this is the YouTube app as you can see um, it's not just a website it's it's a real little app if you click it it will pop open and it will load the menu and yes the videos also play in it I can give you a small example about that so we're gonna hit this video as you can see it's playing just fine but we don't want no copyright complaints so we cannot show you the video too long uh, what do we have more uh, we have uh, several desktops and I cannot show it so good with the screen recorder that I'm using at this moment because I don't see the screen changing but if I hit um, the control and F1 and then uh, we will go to the next screen and then the rocket dock the 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 the, the dock you see at the bottom uh, won't be uh, won't be visible in the other screen so you will have a like an open uh, desktop screen where you can do other things eh? so you can do several tasks on several desktops so that's also really cool eh? that's the idea that is uh, brought in from Linux Linux also has several multiple desktops okay um, setting in a program such as Void Booster into the in the bar at the bottom is really easy just slide it and put it and it will be there for you to use at all times okay um, where are we um, the sidebar as you saw that I, I just put the taskbar at the side and now I'm gonna put it on hide the taskbar and that will give you a sort of um, the thingy that pops up at the left but I think um, or at the right but I think that is sometimes uh, it can be annoying if you are on a website and you're like clicking uh, wanted to click something else in the screen then the thing pops up eh? so I thought maybe it would be even better on the left side but then again I want to find something else for the taskbar we must find something else for that in my uh, previous uh, Windows concept you could see that my taskbar was also gone I removed it and I was surprised to see that in Windows 8 um, the taskbar was also really gone you know Microsoft did not put no taskbar no start menu up there anymore and I remember creating a Windows 9 concept a while ago you can watch uh, watch it on YouTube it's still there and up there I also removed the taskbar um, here you can see that I just opened gadgets and I put the clock in the middle of the of the little round circle of the logo and you have a nice little place where you can fit your clock and it looks I think all sexy and all nice eh? you can see that you can also put it on top but you know I think it looks really nice if you fit it you know in the middle of course you won't see the logo of Microsoft then eh? and that is also uh, nice to see the little I think the uh, wallpaper is really nice I made it myself the wallpaper and I think it's really cool the logo of course is not mine of course that is from Uncle Steve okay here we have some more things uh, I'm gonna show you how it looks like if you log off or if you lock the screen but as a matter of fact you cannot see it because uh, of the of the cam uh, the cam recorder you're not seeing that I'm in fact going to the lock screen now but um, and that is a pity that is really a pity that I can't show that but in, uh, in fact uh, you must trust me on that one it has to do with uh, cam studio you see I'm searching here for cam studio I'm trying to get it back on the desktop otherwise I might lose this recording so there it is back the only way to get it back on the desktop is to go to the to the running apps where your clock is at and then click on it eh? don't try to do it from the taskbar because it won't come up the way I'm trying was trying to do it here it will just uh, stop playing or stop recording and you will lose your recording but as you can see my friends uh, it looks all nice 
all sexy at least that's what I think it looks uh, really nice and if this was done on then of course you would also have the metro screen eh? the metro screen and for Windows 8 users that want to do this uh, you must download rocket dock and uh, just put it at the bottom and make it all um, glossy or you mean it, uh, that you can uh, make it uh, glassy and then 100% and then you will have it this way then you can pop in the normal icons of Windows you can also use other icons but I think Windows deserves these icons these are really nice icons of Windows and just pop them in um, what did I use more for the uh, the log the login uh, screen I used a program called um, I forgot I, I will put it in for you guys and for the boot screen I also used a program that I will also put in for you guys so you can also try that out and um, for the what did I use more oh yes uh, for the start screen I use Pocky Pocky P O K K uh, I it's Pocky and you should download that also if you have Windows 8 because that's really cool and um, to show you that uh, I'm not trying to trick you here you can see the specs of the computer it's just Windows 7 and it's an Acer computer with 3 gigabytes of RAM and 2 processors